Hey all, Bob here, aka Mystery Safe, with another aquarium diary update. Today I want to talk about nitrate and phosphate in my aquarium. Over the last several months, my phosphate has been running very high, as high as 0.8. Now, when you consider that phosphate should be between 0.02 and 0.08, 0.8 is very high. Now, the conventional wisdom says between 0.02 and 0.08. I prefer mine to be between 0.05 and 0.08. I like mine a little bit more elevated because if the phosphate drops for any reason, it's not going to go down to zero or more accurately non-detectable. Now, my nitrate, on the other hand, has been running very low. I've been running below five. I actually like my nitrate between 10 and 20, but if it's above five, I'm okay with that. However, this week I've been testing both nitrate and phosphate, and my nitrate has been 0.5, which is well below what it should be. And I tested again today, and it was non-detectable. It came up as a zero, which means non-detectable. It means that there's still some in there, it's just not at the point where a test kit can read. So, what am I having to do? I am having to dose nitrate, and I'm also using Brightwell's Phosphate E to bring the phosphate down. Now, I understand that the Brightwell's Phosphate E is just lanthium chloride, a diluted version of that. Um, I've never used direct lanthium chloride, and I probably never will because I don't want to figure out the math on how to use it in, in the aquarium, and I've heard too many horror stories of that something gone wrong. Uh, and I don't mind paying a little bit extra to have the diluted version, uh, so I will use the Phosphate E. Now, I don't want that to be my stopgap where I do this all the time and that's what just what I do to fix it. I want to figure out what the problem is. So I know that I am not feeding too much. So I, my question is, is what I'm feeding have too much phosphate in it? Now I do nori uh, several times a week, which I could probably cut back on. And this week I actually have not done any nori at all because the tangs can graze on what's in there. And of course, I also uh, feed pellet food and some frozen food. And I typically only do one to three cubes of frozen food per week. That's kind of a treat. And other than that, it's the pellet food, which is set on my auto timers, uh, my auto fish feeders. And twice a day, uh, the carnivore food comes out and twice a day, the herbivore food comes out. Very small quantities. Uh, and that's only in the evening. So I don't think that's it. So my question is, where could this be coming from? And of course, there must be something I'm doing wrong. So this week, I'm gonna be spending some time looking through my journal, which I keep every single day. Everything I do in my tank goes into my journal, including feedings. So I'm gonna see what I'm using. Maybe one of the foods that I'm using is higher in phosphates, or maybe there's something wrong and, and I'm just not catching it. So I'm gonna go back through and figure this out. Uh, that's the great thing about keeping the journal. But, so like I said, I, had, I have to dose because I don't want things to get out of balance. I want my nitrate to be over 10, and I want my phosphate to be below 0.1. So that is going to be my goal over the next few weeks, is to get this figured out and you get it back in balance. And if you have any ideas, any, any suggestions, please put it in the comments below, and I'll be more than happy to consider it, and hopefully... Uh, myself and some of y'all with some, some knowledge on this will be able to help me out and we can get this figured out. Thanks for watching guys. This is Bob aka Mr. Reef Safe. Catch you next time.